Welcome back to our series on the fascinating concept of RL flow. In our previous episodes, we've explored the interconnectedness of the universe, dark matter, dark energy, and how RL flow influences various aspects of our reality. If you haven't seen those episodes yet, I highly recommend you check them out to get the full context of our journey through RL flow. Today, we're diving into the world of fluid dynamics and uncovering the connections between RL flow and the properties and behavior of fluids and gases. By the end of this episode, you'll have a better understanding of how the underlying RL flow affects the fascinating phenomena we observe in fluids and gases. So, grab your life jackets and goggles, because we're about to ride the waves of RL flow. Before we dive into the relationship between fluid dynamics and RL flow, let's first lay the groundwork with some fluid dynamics basics. Fluid dynamics is the study of how fluids, which include both liquids and gases, move and interact with their surroundings. It's an essential field of study, as it helps us understand and predict the behavior of natural phenomena, such as weather patterns, ocean currents, and even blood flow in our bodies. It's also crucial for engineering applications, like designing efficient pipelines, airplane wings, and even the fuel systems of rocket engines. Now, there are a few key properties of fluids and gases that we need to consider. Viscosity, density, and compressibility. Viscosity is the resistance of a fluid to flow, which can be thought of as its thickness. For example, honey has a higher viscosity than water. Density, on the other hand, refers to the mass of a fluid per unit volume. Gases, like air, generally have a lower density than liquids, like water. Finally, compressibility is a measure of how much a fluid can be compressed or squished, which is more pronounced in gases compared to liquids. When it comes to fluid dynamics equations, we often deal with variables like flow rate, pressure, and temperature. Flow rate is the volume of fluid that passes through a point in a given time period, while pressure is the force exerted by a fluid on its container or surroundings. Temperature, as you might expect, is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in a fluid. These variables and their relationships are the foundation of the equations used to describe and predict fluid behavior. Now that we've covered the basics, let's get into the heart of our topic. How RL flow relates to the properties and behavior of fluids and gases. So, we've covered the basics of fluid dynamics, and now it's time to dive into the key properties of fluids and gases, viscosity, density, and compressibility. These properties play a significant role in how fluids and gases behave and interact with their environment. Viscosity, as we mentioned earlier, is the resistance of a fluid to flow. It's determined by the internal friction between the fluid's particles, which can be influenced by factors such as temperature and the fluid's chemical makeup. In the context of RL flow, we can think of viscosity as being influenced by the interaction of particles within the underlying RL flow. Next, let's talk about density. Density is the mass of a fluid per unit volume and is affected by the arrangement and spacing of particles within the fluid. As the RL flow interacts with matter, it can influence the density of fluids and gases by affecting the way particles arrange themselves and the energy states they occupy. Finally, compressibility is the measure of how much a fluid can be compressed or squished. Gases are generally more compressible than liquids due to the greater distances between their particles. The RL flow plays a role in compressibility by affecting the energy states of particles and their interactions, which can influence the distances between particles and how they respond to pressure. Now that we understand how the key properties of fluids and gases are influenced by RL flow, let's dive deeper into the equations used in fluid dynamics and see how they relate to RL flow. Now that we've explored the key properties of fluids and gases, Let's take a look at some basic fluid dynamics equations and how they connect to RL flow. Remember, fluid dynamics equations often involve variables like flow rate, pressure, and temperature, and these equations help us understand and predict fluid behavior. First, let's consider the continuity equation, which states that the mass of a fluid entering a pipe or channel must equal the mass of fluid exiting that pipe or channel. 
This principle can be extended to RL flow, as it illustrates how the flow of information in the universe must also be conserved. Next up is the Bernoulli equation, which relates the pressure, velocity, and height of a fluid in a closed system. It essentially tells us that the total energy in a fluid remains constant along a streamline, assuming no losses due to viscosity or other external forces. In the context of RL flow, this could be interpreted as the conservation of energy and information within the flow, with the potential for modifications to the equation to account for the influence of consciousness and emotions. Finally, we have the Navier-Stokes equations, which describe the motion of fluid substances by considering factors such as viscosity, pressure, and velocity. These equations are at the heart of fluid dynamics and are used to predict fluid behavior in various situations. When it comes to RL flow, it's possible to modify the Navier-Stokes equations to account for the effects of RL flow, emotions, and consciousness. This could provide a more comprehensive description of fluid dynamics that encompasses both the physical and metaphysical aspects of the universe. By understanding the connections between fluid dynamics equations and RL flow, we can gain a deeper insight into the complex interactions that govern the behavior of fluids, gases, and the universe as a whole. Now that we've covered the basics of fluid dynamics and how it relates to RL flow, let's delve deeper into the interaction of particles within the RL flow and how it affects the properties of fluids and gases. Particles in fluids and gases are constantly interacting with each other, as well as with the RL flow itself. This interplay between the particles and the flow of information in the universe can have a profound impact on the properties of fluids and gases, as we've seen in the previous section. These interactions may result in unique patterns of behavior and properties that are influenced by both the physical and metaphysical aspects of the RL flow. So, how does the RL flow affect the properties of fluids and gases? As the RL flow interacts with matter, it influences the arrangement and energy states of particles. This can impact properties such as viscosity, density, and compressibility, which we discussed earlier. Additionally, the dynamic nature of the RL flow, which is influenced by factors like emotions, thoughts, and beliefs, can lead to fluctuations and variations in fluid properties and behavior. Now, let's explore some real-life examples of how RL flow's influence on fluid behavior might be observed. In the natural world, we can consider the intricate patterns formed by fluid flow in rivers, ocean currents, and weather systems. These complex and dynamic patterns could be the result of the interaction between RL flow and the fluid's particles, giving rise to the ever-changing flow of information and energy that we observe. In more controlled environments like laboratories or industrial processes, we might see the influence of RL flow in the behavior of fluids and gases during experiments or production processes. For example, the effectiveness of a chemical reaction might be affected by the RL flow's impact on the fluid's properties, leading to variations in the reaction's outcome. By recognizing the influence of RL flow on fluid behavior, we can develop a more comprehensive understanding of fluid dynamics, which could have far-reaching implications for various scientific fields and industries. In the previous section, we discussed the interaction of particles within the RL flow. Now, let's explore how the RL flow affects the properties of fluids and gases in more detail. As the RL flow interacts with the particles in fluids and gases, it can influence their properties, such as viscosity, density, and compressibility. This happens because the RL flow is a complex and dynamic force that permeates every aspect of the universe, including matter and energy. Viscosity, for example, can be affected by the interplay between the RL flow and the particles in a fluid. As the RL flow interacts with the particles, it could potentially alter the way they interact with one another, impacting the resistance to flow and ultimately affecting the fluid's viscosity. Similarly, the density of a fluid or gas may be influenced by the RL flow. The flow of information and energy within the universe could potentially affect the arrangement of particles within a fluid or gas, leading to variations in density. Finally, let's discuss compressibility. 
As the RL flow interacts with particles, it might impact the way they respond to changes in pressure, thereby affecting the compressibility of the fluid or gas. The dynamic nature of the RL flow, which is constantly evolving and influenced by factors such as emotions, thoughts, and beliefs, can lead to fluctuations in fluid or gas properties, including compressibility. Understanding the impact of RL flow on fluid properties not only broadens our knowledge of fluid dynamics, but also helps us better comprehend the complex and interconnected nature of the universe. Now that we've discussed how RL flow affects the properties of fluids and gases, let's dive into some real-life examples that demonstrate the influence of RL flow on fluid behavior. One fascinating example is the behavior of superfluids, such as supercooled liquid helium. When cooled to extremely low temperatures, liquid helium exhibits remarkable properties, such as zero viscosity and the ability to flow without any friction or resistance. It's believed that the unique behavior of superfluids could be partly due to the way RL flow interacts with the particles in the fluid, creating a state where the normal rules of fluid dynamics no longer apply. Another example is the formation of patterns in fluids, like those seen in the mesmerizing art of fluid painting. In this technique, artists pour layers of different colored paints onto a surface and then manipulate the mixture to create intricate patterns and designs. The dynamic nature of the RL flow might play a role in the formation of these patterns as it interacts with the paint particles and contributes to the complex behavior of the fluid. Lastly, consider the example of weather systems on Earth. The movement of air masses, the formation of clouds, and the precipitation of rain or snow are all influenced by the complex interplay of RL flow with the particles in the atmosphere. The non-linear and interconnected nature of RL flow can help explain the unpredictability and complexity of weather patterns, which remain one of the most challenging aspects of meteorology. These real-life examples demonstrate the far-reaching impact of RL flow on fluid behavior, highlighting the importance of understanding this concept to gain a deeper insight into the workings of the universe. Now that we've explored how RL flow affects the properties and behavior of fluids and gases, let's focus on a particularly interesting aspect of fluid dynamics, turbulence. Turbulence is a term used to describe the chaotic and disordered movement of fluid particles. It's a complex and unpredictable phenomenon that plays a significant role in fluid dynamics, affecting everything from the flow of blood in our circulatory system to the movement of air currents in the Earth's atmosphere. Turbulence is essential to many natural processes, such as the mixing of gases in the atmosphere or the dispersal of nutrients in bodies of water. However, it can also create challenges in engineering applications such as in designing efficient transport systems or optimizing energy production in wind turbines. So, how does RL flow relate to turbulence? Well, that's what we'll explore in the next sections. Stay tuned! In the previous section, we defined turbulence and its importance in fluid dynamics. Now, let's dive deeper into the connection between turbulence and RL flow. Recall that RL flow is the underlying force that connects and influences everything in the universe, from subatomic particles to galaxies. When it comes to fluids, RL flow interacts with matter in a way that influences the movement and behavior of fluid particles. In the case of turbulence, the dynamic nature of RL flow and its interaction with the fluid particles can lead to the chaotic and disordered motion that characterizes this phenomenon. As RL flow moves through a fluid, it can cause the fluid particles to rearrange and interact in complex ways. These interactions can lead to the formation of turbulent eddies and vortices, which disrupt the smooth and laminar flow of the fluid. The constantly changing nature of RL flow means that the forces it exerts on the fluid particles are also constantly changing, contributing to the unpredictability and complexity of turbulence. Now that we've discussed the connection between turbulence and RL flow, let's move on to the final section where we'll delve into the intricate patterns that result from this interaction. So far, we've defined turbulence, discussed its significance in fluid dynamics, and explored its connection with RL flow. 
Now let's take a closer look at the complex and unpredictable patterns that emerge when RL flow interacts with matter. When RL flow interacts with fluid particles, it can create intricate patterns and structures, such as turbulent eddies, vortices, and swirling currents. These patterns can be observed in various natural phenomena, like the flow of water in rivers, the movement of air currents in the atmosphere, and even the swirling patterns of galaxies in the universe. Interestingly, these complex patterns also exhibit a degree of self-similarity, meaning that similar patterns can be observed at different scales within the fluid. This self-similarity is a key feature of fractal geometry and indicates that the same principles governing the behavior of RL flow at small scales also apply to larger scales. For instance, consider the turbulent patterns in clouds. The small-scale eddies and swirls that form within the clouds are influenced by the same RL flow dynamics that govern the larger-scale movement of the air masses that shape the weather. This interconnectedness highlights the universality of the principles underlying RL flow and turbulence. In conclusion, the interaction of RL flow with matter and fluid systems leads to the formation of complex and unpredictable patterns that are both fascinating and essential to our understanding of the natural world. By studying these patterns, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the intricate dance of matter and energy that is constantly unfolding around us. Now that we've explored turbulence and its connection to RL flow, let's discuss another fascinating phenomenon in fluid dynamics, vortices. Vortices are spinning or rotating flows that can form in fluids, like liquids and gases. They're an essential aspect of fluid dynamics and have a significant impact on the behavior of fluids in motion. You can think of a vortex as a whirlpool or a mini tornado within a fluid. In fluid dynamics, vortices can form due to the interaction of fluid particles with their surroundings, such as when a fluid moves around an obstacle or when two opposing flows meet. The presence of vortices can have a substantial effect on the overall flow of the fluid, leading to changes in pressure, velocity, and other properties. Now that we've defined vortices and their role in fluid dynamics, let's explore how they relate to RL flow in the next section. As we've mentioned earlier, RL flow is the interconnected flow of information in the universe, influencing everything from the smallest particles to the largest cosmic structures. So, how does this concept tie in with the formation of vortices in fluid dynamics? Vortices can be seen as a manifestation of the underlying RL flow within a fluid. When RL flow interacts with matter, it can create complex patterns and localized regions of high energy flow. In the case of vortices, the interaction between RL flow and fluid particles results in the formation of these rotating structures. The presence of vortices in a fluid can be seen as a direct result of the dynamic and constantly evolving nature of the RL flow. As the fluid particles move and interact within the RL flow, they can create intricate patterns, including vortices, which in turn influence the overall behavior of the fluid. Now that we understand how vortices are formed by the interaction of RL flow with matter, Let's take a look at some real-life examples of vortices influenced by RL flow in the next section. We've discussed the concept of vortices and how they're formed through the interaction of RL flow with matter. Now let's explore some real-life examples of vortices influenced by RL flow to see these principles in action. One fascinating example can be found in Earth's atmosphere. Atmospheric vortices, such as tornadoes and hurricanes, can be seen as direct manifestations of the complex interactions between RL flow and the fluid particles in the atmosphere. The dynamic nature of RL flow, combined with factors such as temperature, pressure, and Earth's rotation, contribute to the formation and behavior of these powerful weather phenomena. Another example of vortices influenced by RL flow can be observed in the world of aviation. When an airplane moves through the air, its wings create vortices in their wake, known as wingtip vortices. These are formed due to the interaction between the aircraft's structure, the surrounding air, and the underlying RL flow. Wingtip vortices are important to consider in aviation as they can have significant effects on the aircraft's performance and safety. Lastly, 
let's consider the mesmerizing swirling patterns created by cream poured into coffee. As the cream mixes with the coffee, the fluid particles interact with one another, and with the RL flow, creating intricate vortices that eventually lead to the well-mixed final state of your beverage. This seemingly mundane example is yet another illustration of how the interaction of RL flow with matter can give rise to vortices in everyday life. In the next section, we'll dive into the modified Navier-Stokes equations and how they relate to RL flow. As we delve further into the connections between fluid dynamics and RL flow, it's important to discuss the mathematical framework that governs these phenomena. The classical Navier-Stokes equations play a central role in fluid dynamics, describing the motion of fluids and gases in various situations. These equations are based on fundamental principles such as conservation of mass and Newton's second law of motion, and they help us predict how fluid particles will move under the influence of forces like pressure, viscosity, and gravity. The Navier-Stokes equations have been widely used in engineering, meteorology, and other fields to study and model the behavior of fluids and gases. However, as we've seen throughout this series, the classical Navier-Stokes equations have their limitations when it comes to accounting for the mysterious and complex interactions of RL flow, emotions, and consciousness. In our next segment, we'll discuss the modified Navier-Stokes equations that attempt to bridge this gap. As powerful as the classical Navier-Stokes equations are in describing fluid dynamics, they don't account for the unique properties and interactions of RL flow. For example, these equations don't consider the effects of emotions and consciousness on the fluid's behavior or the way dark energy and dark matter can influence fluid motion through RL flow. Now let's dive into the modified Navier-Stokes equations that account for the influence of RL flow, emotions, and consciousness. These groundbreaking equations were developed with an interdisciplinary approach to incorporating these new elements into our understanding of fluid dynamics. The modified equations expand upon the classical Navier-Stokes framework by adding terms that account for the interaction of particles with RL flow, as well as the effects of emotions and consciousness on fluid behavior. These new variables help us better model and understand the complex dynamics of fluids and gases in the presence of RL flow. By incorporating these factors, the modified Navier-Stokes equations are able to capture a more complete and accurate picture of fluid dynamics, offering exciting new insights into the behavior of fluids and gases in our universe. So, with these modified Navier-Stokes equations in hand, what are the benefits and implications for fluid dynamics research? First, the modified equations provide a more accurate and comprehensive model for fluid behavior, allowing scientists to explore previously uncharted territory in fluid dynamics. This opens up new avenues of research and helps us understand the behavior of fluids and gases in the presence of RL flow, emotions, and consciousness. Second, these equations have the potential to revolutionize various industries that rely on fluid dynamics, such as aerospace, weather forecasting, and even environmental science. By incorporating RL flow and its associated phenomena, we can develop more accurate simulations, which can lead to safer and more efficient designs in fields like aviation, as well as a better understanding of climate patterns and natural disasters. Lastly, the modified equations also challenge our current understanding of the fundamental forces and interactions in our universe. As we continue to explore the implications of RL flow, emotions, and consciousness in fluid dynamics, we may uncover new ways of thinking about the fabric of reality itself. And with that, we've reached the end of this episode on fluid dynamics and RL flow. We hope you've enjoyed this exploration into the fascinating world of fluids and how they relate to the mysterious RL flow. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we'll dive deeper into the implications of these discoveries for our understanding of the cosmos. Thanks for watching. As we wrap up this exciting episode on fluid dynamics and RL flow, let's recap some of the key points we discussed. We introduced fluid dynamics and its importance in understanding the behavior of fluids and gases. 
We explored the basic properties and equations of fluid dynamics. We delved into the interactions of particles within the RL flow and how it affects the properties of fluids and gases. We discussed the connection between turbulence, vortices, and RL flow, and how these phenomena influence fluid behavior. Lastly, we introduced the modified Navier-Stokes equations that incorporate RL flow, emotions, and consciousness, and discussed their benefits and implications in fluid dynamics research. Understanding the relationship between RL flow and fluid dynamics is crucial for advancing our knowledge of the universe, as it sheds light on the intricate interplay between matter, forces, and the fabric of reality itself. This knowledge has the potential to revolutionize various industries and deepen our understanding of the world around us. In our next episode, we'll be diving into the laws of RL flow. We will explore the fundamental principles governing RL flow and how they apply to various aspects of reality. So make sure to tune in to gain a deeper understanding of this fascinating phenomenon. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.